This place is so much nicer. Without the loudmouths. Loudmouths? Those bossy co-workers sent to Castle Oblivion. Oh. Well, I suppose it's too bad you and Poppet didn't get to spend a little more quality time with them. Poppet? I'm talking about Shion, kiddo. Kiddo? Roxas, get to work. I've got some place to be again today. So go on ahead without me. Uh, Roxas. Huh? Shion? Roxas is your name. Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome back to Missile Giant Online in Kingdom Hearts Re Chain of Memories Riku story. In the last episode, we defeated our Dark Self, our Riku replica. And in this episode, we are going to continue with the new cards that Ansem, maybe, gave us. So the wor first world that we're going to go to is actually going to be Wonderland. And the reason for that is because Wonderland absolutely sucks. Okay, now that we got through that. Seriously, it's terrible. And of course we get the key to beginnings to Wonderland. God, how I hate this world. Anybody that's watched my Kingdom Hearts series in the past knows that I just, I just hate this world. But more importantly than that, let's go ahead and actually look at our deck. You guys ready for this? Look at the values. Look at how many cards we have. Literally, we have three combos worth of cards. That's it. Our, uh, our enemy card that we get deflects frontal physical attacks and completely nullifies damage, but only for one reload. Are you kidding me? This is by far one of the worst decks that you can have. Or is it? Okay, so, it's actually wor it's actually interesting because we can pop this, and you will notice right off the bat that all of the enemies that we end up fighting here actually have very, very low, uh, very, very low cards. Like, two, I mean, five seems to be the highest one, and we can take that no problem. So, it's worth mentioning. Now, if you do play your cards right, haha, uh, you can potentially actually do stuff like that, where we can use our impulse and, 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 you know, hit things for massive damage across the board. That's pretty cool, uh, but more importantly than that, also, if we decide to use, that was really, that was really annoying, uh, but we got a blue card, so that's always worth it. If you use a Martial Waking, which I absolutely suggest that you do, you can actually level faster in this world than you could have in previous worlds. That's pretty darn cool. That's pretty darn cool. So, I'm gonna go ahead and actually, uh, battle some of these guys and hopefully get one more level before we continue through Wonderland. Now, we did, in fact, level up in that last fight, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually give that to our Darkness Boost, because for the most part, we've been focusing a lot on our HP. Apparently, I got into a fight with something. All right, now that we've destroyed the the vine, the flower that was stopping us from proceeding, and we've defeated all of the enemies in this room, we can, of course, move on to the next one. Now, I am going to highly recommend using your Martial Waking in Wonderland. Martial Waking or, or your Meeting Ground card are going to be really, really phenomenal. However, I would say that the best idea is to actually save your Meeting Room card for a little bit later. All right, we got another level up. We are now level 25. That's pretty damn gnarly. We're going to obviously put it into our health uh, just so that we can, you know, have a little bit more staying power when we're fighting these incredibly hard bosses. Okay, we've cleared the vines, cleared the enemies. Let's continue on. We're going to use a two card here, and we're going to actually... Oop, we're going to actually try going all the way, all the way to the end of Wonderland to take on the boss of Wonderland. Probably one of the worst bosses in this entire game. So, uh, yeah, to say I'm not excited 
is a uh, is an understatement. So we'll go ahead, run all the way over here. We were able to do that without getting into any fights, and we need a level three or higher. I'm gonna go ahead and actually use our bottomless darkness room, uh, which is actually super interesting because our first bottomless darkness room that we used during the Sora Let's Play part uh, was actually here in Wonderland. I just think that's kind of interesting. Oh, apparently this is. Oh no, I went the wrong way. This is it. This is a damn dead end. Okay, well, let's try to avoid these enemies and get over here. Oh my god, it's so close. We were able to do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, we need to use probably... Oh, you know what? I went to the wrong door. That's why. We actually want to use this one that's down here. This one. Right there, we need to use a two or higher. We're going to use a tranquil darkness because we can... All right, we find ourselves here in the thick of things. Uh, there's only one place that we can go, obviously, and it's this door, this door right here. Uh, we need a three or higher. Perfect, we will use a Tranquil Darkness. Straight through, let's bounce up. Oh, baby. And then we'll go and use this door right here. We need a four. Let's go ahead and use this Looming Darkness yet again. This is going to be a level five. Value five, I should say. You know, I actually changed my mind. We are actually going to go ahead and redo this room. Uh, and we are going to use a Moment's Reprieve. Oh, we can't actually use a Moment's Reprieve here, can we? All right, well, we're just going to try and hope that we can do this fight without dying. All right. Oh, get out of my way. Oh, shucks. Okay, let's make a run for it. Can we do it? Can we get to this story door? Oh, almost ran into that that red red nocturne. All right, we need 20 value blue cards. For real? Well, while we were looking for blue map cards, we ended up getting level 26, which means we are now one point stronger. All right, so I ended up using a roulette card, a map roulette. Uh, so this way, oops, I could have gotten a six there. That's okay. Because we need so many blue cards, I figured this is the best way to do it. But we also leveled up upon doing this, which is even better for us. So we're going to go ahead and increase our health just a little bit more. Even though DP will be pretty useful pretty soon. Alright, so we got enough blue cards. And I ended up making this room, that was the Looming Darkness. I ended up making this room a Moment's Reprieve. Just so that we can save the game. Because this next boss fight is going to be very difficult. Now, we should have more than enough blue cards to be able to actually open this door now, so let's hope for the best here. Uh, we will use a 9, a 7, and then we need to use a 6, I guess, to be able to do that. That's fine. Uh, I wish we would have had a 4 there, but that's okay. We had a 3, so that's that's poop bags. We won't really be using mingling words, worlds, though. All right, so the boss of Wonderland is, of course, none other than Trickmaster. However... We are going to have one hell of a problem here, and that is because of our deck. This thing is going to make it so that, well, we can't really do much against it. Now, a duel would be super useful. Uh, if we could if we could get a duel up, I'd be very happy about that. Look how much damage that actually did right there. Now, we actually want to see if we can avoid some of its attacks. Right there, we were able to, able to take it down where it will, you know, give us some health like it used to back in Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh, which is very nice for us. My hope here is that we can actually get a duel going. I'm gonna wait. Uh, we don't want to get hit by that. There we go. So as long as you avoid his attacks, you'll actually be okay. And you won't necessarily need to... Um... Here we go. Let's see if we can actually break him. I don't know if we'll be able to. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope for the best. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Alright, so we will hopefully... Oh... All right, whatever. We were, we were, we'll, we were still able to hit him, not as much as I would have liked. But right there, we will grab one of these. Uh, I didn't actually mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that at all. Uh, okay, let's see if we can actually go ahead, and that's not gonna work. Okay. Now, what I meant to do there was actually use that card, that Mickey card, uh, to heal us, which I'll end up using this one to do that. Now, I don't think he'll be able to break our eight. At least, oh, of course he was able to break our eight. Okay. 
That's okay, we got him pretty low, so I think we'll be able to do this, and yes! Down goes Trickmaster. Guys, I was really nervous about that fight, but we were able to do it. First try. No level up, though. I hate that. I hate when that happens. And we will get the Trick Master boss card. So the, that's why we did Wonderland first, is because I feel like Wonderland gets more difficult the later in the game you are. So so we did it. We did it first. We were like, yo, yo, we're gonna do this real quick. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, our new card that we have, which is Trick Master decreases value of the enemy's card when your card is broken. Uh, it could be useful in the right situation. I don't really think that it will be useful, uh, more useful than the Genie card. Genie Jafar. All right, now that we've saved and everything, let's continue on. We can actually leave and head towards the Conqueror's Respite, the last room that we need to go to. Now, it's actually weird because of the layout of Wonderland, and we're going to have to go through a lot of different rooms to actually get through there. This would be a good time to get some more levels if that is something that you're considering. If, you know, if there's enemies around, uh, I highly recommend like, hey, you know what? Why don't you just go and battle them? Or, you know, if you don't feel like doing that, you can just continue on. We just need to go all the way to the room that we couldn't, the only room that we didn't choose to go to before, which was, which was this one right up here. Now you re might remember that I was like, oh, I'm stuck because I'm stupid. Well, we can go ahead and go through here. Uh, we should use a Martial Waking, just because, again, I think that it will be a good idea to use Martial Waking or Meeting Ground wherever you can actually do so. It is just such a good card. And uh, I I'm going to fight these enemies off screen, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and just pop on over here first, open this door so that you can see what's going on. We need to get rid of this first though. Can we do that without getting in this fight with this shadow? Yes, we can. And we will go ahead, and from here, we're going to probably use, I'm thinking some sleep Sleeping Darkness, because we have a 5 and a 6, which is going to work out really well for us. Oh yeah, we'll just, we'll just scoot right on by, y'all. And then we'll go ahead and use this door as well, which again, we're going to use Sleeping Darkness level 6, because we can. And that should open the way to Conqueror's Respite, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Right after this, yep, Conqueror's Respite, perfect! We just cleared Wonderland, folks. We just cleared Wonderland. So let's go ahead, jump up on here. Let's, let's leave Wonderland in the dust. And maybe experience some really cool story stuff, because we haven't actually seen that in a while. Now you can save if you so choose, but we are just going to continue on ahead. And we find ourselves on the 7th floor exit hall. But what will happen on the 6th floor entrance hall? How can we help you, Vexen? It's not very often we see you topside. I came to lend you a hand. You obviously believe this Sora has much potential. But I remain unconvinced he is truly worth such coddling. I think an experiment would show if he really is of any value to us. <laughs> Well, here we go again. It's just an excuse, so you can carry out your little experiments, that's all. I'm a scientist. Experiments are what I do. Yes. Whatever. You can do what you want. But you know, I think testing Sora is just a cover for testing your valet. Valet? He's the product of pure research. What he actually is, is a toy. Hmm. You should just learn to be quiet. Anyway, since you came all this way, you're gonna need this. A humble gift to my elder. I hope you use it to put on a very good show for us. That card holds the memories of Sora and Riku's home. It's just a card. What good is that? With a little help from Namine, you'll have all the real Riku's memories. Maybe we can get her to make you forget you're nothing but a fake. In other words, we'll remake your heart so you can be exactly the same as the real Riku, okay? Uh, you want to remake my heart? The real Riku is a wimp who's afraid of the dark. What do I want with the heart of a loser? Any objections, Vexen? 
After all, you do want to test Sora, don't you? It must be done. How can you? Are you betraying me? I told you I would make good use of you, didn't I? No. Relax, kiddo. I don't think it's gonna hurt that much. I'll hurt you! <laughs> Stupid little toy. Think you could defeat me? Where would you ever get a thought like that? But look on the bright side. Along with everything else in your head, Naminé will erase the memory of me knocking you flat. Instead, she will implant the loveliest little memories you could ever hope for. It's no big deal that they're all lies. No. No! Interesting. So what's really cool about that particular cinematic is that that was actually part of Sora's story. If you guys remember, we saw what was virtually the first half of that. It was when Riku stepped into the frame that we actually, it ended, right? We couldn't see any more. So that was the full cinematic that we didn't get to see during Sora's story. And I just think that that is super cool that they add stuff like that throughout the game. I think that's important. I think it's interesting to see what's going on with this new character that was just introduced that we know from Sora's story is Naminé, who is capable of creating memories and erasing memories and everything else. Who is Naminé? We will find out when we play 2.5, that is for darn sure. But for right now, we are going to wait, and in the next episode, we are going to use the world's... Uh, well, you know what? Under the sea, under the sea. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please be sure to drop it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and right now showing up on screen is a playlist video for you to go and check out Sora's Story if you want to do that, and another video that YouTube has uh, chosen specifically for you. Also, there is a subscribe button and a Patreon button. If you want to go ahead and check out what Patreon is, I highly recommend it. It has reward tiers that you can get rewarded just for subscribing monthly to the channel. Thank you all very much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the darkness.